Hi, uh, I've left this post fight video way too long. Um, I wanted to just do a very quick pro, uh, post fight video of the fight that happened on the 20th of October in Sheffield, which was the card which featured Kelbrook versus Hector David Saldivia. Um, I'll just do the top three fights, which is what I did my predictions on as well. So, uh, Kelbrook, I thought he looked really good myself. Um, I thought he would win by an early KO, but as with um, any fighter who has a large KO ratio, which is what Hector Saldivia had, um, you know, there was always that sort of punches chance, but uh, Kelbrick made sure that he never even got any punches off because he was too busy punching him himself. Um, I thought that Brooke looked very quick. I thought he looked very powerful. He's obviously very precise. I think he looks like a genuine talent. Um, I think he will go on to become a world champion. I'm not sure if he will go on to become the um, world champion, like the number one at the weight, and I'm not sure if he'll go on to be an elite, you know, top ten fighter. But it'll be interesting to see what he can do. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. I think he's got a good career up to now, fighting domestic level fighters, European level fighters, and low level world contenders. Um, but that's all going to change because what is he like 26 or 27 so he's got years left to come and um you know now it's time to step up to uh, the plate and fight some of these world class guys so uh if people like devin alexander actually give him a chance or or whoever else wants to give him a chance you know it'll be very interesting to see those fights so i'm really looking forward to um Kelbrook's future and um, yeah so I thought he looked good that night. Uh, the other undercard fights included Jamie McDonnell versus Darwin Zamora which was I think an IBF bantamweight title eliminator. It was meant to be fighting um, uh, Vig the, the singer. I can't remember his name now, Vuj Bas oh, I can't remember anyway, he was meant to be fighting the other guy, the South African geezer and anyway he pulled out because of injury so um, he fought Darwin Zamora and again every time you fight a guy who is unknown like Darwin Zamora who you probably haven't try you probably haven't um, done much research on you probably haven't seen any footage of etc etc it's going to be difficult and that's what happened um, it took Jamie McDonnell I think eight or nine rounds to get him out of there which I thought was a bit long because I thought a guy stepping up to bantamweight for the first time I thought he would get him out of there quite early on but again, when you fight somebody who you have no idea about, it's going to be tough. And Darwin Zamora gave it his all. Um, I thought he looked quite impressive. But I do think that a world-class bantamweight would have beaten Darwin Zamora um, early on. So I think that says something about Jamie McDonnell. Um, you know, Jamie McDonnell, I do think he deserves a world title shot. And I hope he does get his title shot now. Um, he's meant to be... Well, that was an IBF um, title eliminator, so he should be fighting the IBF champ, who I believe is Leo Santa Cruz, soon. I'm not sure if that fight will be made, or if he'll have to go to Mexico to fight it. I think probably yes. Um, but I'm not sure if he can beat any of the world champions, because Bantamweight is packed full of talent, um, and Super Bantamweight, which he probably won't make it up to, but Super Bantamweight is even more packed full of talent and don't forget that those super bantamweights were at bantamweight just not long ago um but the champions at bantamweight right now <clears throat> are class as well so i'm not sure if he will win a world title but he definitely deserves a title shot and i hope he gets one very soon uh and the other fight was kenny anderson versus robin reed robin reed has to retire immediately he has no reason to be in the ring he hasn't looked good in a long time in years and years and years and he's just not doing himself any favours to keep fighting on. He did look okay for the first three three rounds or whatever, but I think that says more about Kenny Anderson than it does about Robin Reed. I think that says that Kenny Anderson can be outboxed. I think that's all that says. Um, I think Kenny Anderson is domestic level. I don't think he'll make it to world level or anything like that. But, you know, he's a good domestic level fighter, so all credit to him. But Robin Reed shouldn't be in there anymore. And if he is going to continue to fight then he needs to fight journeyman level fighters because domestic, good domestic level fighters are way out of his league now. He should concentrate on fighting 
you know, sort of four round fights, six round fights against upcomers or journeymen because I don't think he's good enough to do anything else. I don't think he's got the stamina anymore to even go past five or six rounds. So I thought I'd just do a quick review of that card.